Hello. What is shaking, everybody? I have been getting requests for um, me to do videos wearing more tank tops. I'm kidding. That's not it. I didn't even realize I was wearing this shirt. It's a workout shirt. Yes, I went to the gym today. I'm trying people, and I'm also trying in the kitchen as well. Which side is the camera on? There you are. How you doing? Um, I also get, uh, actually, I do get a lot of requests uh, lately for cooking videos. And I have this new stand that the phone is on right now. And it goes around my neck. My mom bought it for me because she's awesome. And I'm going to use that because I can put that around my neck and just show you what I'm doing. This might be a little bit of a long video. It might be a two-parter, to be honest with you. Because what am I going to do? Just put this in the oven while it's cooking? No. So I'm going to have to come back. It's going to be a two-parter uh, while the... Uh, what do you call that? What do you call that thing where you, uh, you you put it down? Usually it's made of dough. Pizza dough, yeah. It's not dough, though. It's really weird. Anyways, as many of you know, um, I've been on the carnivore diet for two months now. I am down 30 pounds. Ooh, yeah. Uh, I'm kind of stuck at 30 pounds. Loss. I'm like right at that 230 mark. Um, I just want to get into the 220s so bad. My goal is 220, so I got 10 pounds left to lose, and I my blood pressure has righted itself. I have unlimited energy. Uh, my cravings are just the same as they would be on any other diet, uh, but I'm finding little things like monk fruit extract and things like that just to squirt on your tongue, and you're fine. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a it's a process. It's not always fun. But it's, uh, this is the, everyone has to find a diet that works for them if you need a diet, if you want to be on a diet or a lifestyle or whatever you want to call it. But what works for this person is not going to work for this person. What works for that nice lady over there is not going to work for that nice lady over there. Um, you have to play around and find out what works for you. The carnivore diet has worked for me. I've only had four days of cheating. And when I'm on the road, I switch from carnivore to keto because it's impossible. It's not impossible. Uh, it's possible for me to stick to a meat only diet, uh, meat and cheese and coffee. And that's it. Uh, when I'm on the road, there's just too many temptations. My willpower is not there and I like to enjoy myself when I'm on the road. So there's that. So as you can tell, and I hate saying so to start every sentence. We all we all need to stop that. Um, I'm a public speaker. I host TV shows. So uh, <laughs> I know it's a reset, and it's a it, 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 it works sometimes, but you can't say it before every sentence. Definitely don't smack your lips before every sentence. You know what I'm talking about? I was watching some person on the news. He's a White House spokesperson. Every sentence. Anyway. So, Zelensky uh, and Ukraine, and, and then on Joe Biden, and then, 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 then. I, no, that is not when you smack your lips. When you do smack your lips is never, okay? I was going to make a nice little segue there and say, you know, this is going to be lip smacking because it is, but never smack your lips when you're chewing your food or we cannot be friends. Okay, let me get to this. I am going to make a carb free. Uh, pizza. Now, when I do this, what does this mean? Look, there's carbs sometimes in eggs, and I get the best possible eggs you can get. They're all like different colors. They got the orange oak. They sell these in major stores. They're like eight dollars, whatever. Um, but they're worth it. I'm trying to find the nutritional stuff on here. Apparently, maybe it's inside. <laughs> oh, look at that! I've never seen this before. So, in, of course, you can't read that. It says zero carbs, but sometimes there's a carb. If you eat, like, five eggs, you'll get a carb. I think we're going to be using two. Sometimes in Parmesan cheese, it'll say, like, less than one carb. Uh, sometimes in, you know, these processed cheese, it'll say, it says zero carbs. But sometimes, you know, I'm getting that. The only actual carbs, even the seasonings that I'm using, are zero carbs. And we'll get into all the ingredients in a second. Uh, the only sauce uh, carbs that I, uh, I'm sure that there's carbs, 
is a fourth cup of this has three grams of carbohydrates. Now, if you take away the one gram of dietary fiber, that leaves you with two carbs in a fourth a cup, and that's what I'm using for the entire pizza. So let's say you eat two slices of pizza, or in my case, probably three, or probably the whole damn pizza, um, you'll get those two carbs. Carnivore diet, they want to keep you as close to zero as possible, between zero and 10 carbs a day. That is what a carnivore diet is. If you want to go to keto, it's 30 to 50 carbs a day. And uh, which seems like a, an amazing amount of carbs to me at this moment because I've not had a whole lot of carbs in the last two months. So, Brandon, pizza is made with bread, which is the pizza dough, and that has 40 carbs a slice in it. Wow. Are you, how's this guy, how, how, how can I possibly make a claim to provide an instructional video to you and a carb-free pizza? How? It doesn't make any sense. Well, it will in a second because I'm not using dough, I'm not using flour, I'm not using self-rising yeast, I'm not using almond flour, I'm not using any kind of flour. What I'm using is my Vitamix. Now, what am I going to put in that powerful blender of mine? Chicken. What? Oh, no. Oh, hello from Wisconsin. I forgot we have people talking on here. Uh, before we get too far, the, this is really weird. But the chicken that you can buy, it's the Good and Gather brand. Hang on. Let me show you a bag real quick. Not right now. I'm live, people. Come on. This brand right here, the Good and Gather boneless skinless chicken breast at target okay target it's only at target so i think it's the store brand this is the best damn frozen chicken you can buy this is better than fresh chicken that you can buy over the counter which i sometimes do if i can't find this um i don't know what it is i mean they all say the same stuff no antibiotics no hormones no steroids raised with blah 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 blah, blah. um I don't get it. When you put this in a slow cooker for any recipe you can think of, it comes out better. If you just bake it like I did with a little bit of Kinder's um, seasoning on it, it just tastes better. It makes no sense why it's so freaking good. So remember that next time you go to Target, grab a couple bags of this and uh, you'll thank me later. Man. Okay. So, you're going to put some chicken breasts in a Vitamix, in a blender, whatever. Hopefully, you have a very good blender because you need to have a powerful blender to blend it up. But that's, that's not going to make a pizza dough. What are, you, what, are you, uh, what are you talking about, Brandon? It makes no sense. Uh, well, I'm about to make it make sense, okay? Because you're going to take maybe two breasts. Boom. Boom. And then maybe a little... Another piece. That's a lot, actually. I think that's eh, whatever. It's so good. That Kinder's. Yeah, you're right. That Kinder's barbecue sauce is amazing. Leave some for you mortals. Ah, these eggs are so fresh. You might think this is gross, but I don't. It actually has a little chicken poop on it. Look at that. I love these happy eggs, and the and the yolks are bright ass orange. Whatever bright ass orange means. I forgot to turn on my oven. Okay, so I'm gonna put in two eggs. Boom. See, that was a blue one. I'll go with a brown one. Boom. Now we have chicken and eggs. Have we dominated a species any more than this? 
I mean, this is ridiculous. We're chopping up their bodies and we're taking their babies. And it's, it's, we won the war already. Okay, chickens, I'm sorry. Yeah, we definitely won the war. What else is going to go in here? If you shop at Safeway, I like the Lucerne cheese. It's actually the best cheese I've ever had that comes in a bag or a package. I like the gourmet one. I don't know if it's actually gourmet, but it's just Vermont Sharp, New York Sharp, and whatever it is. I take about a fourth of a cup, put it in there, boom. Then I grab some of this also Lucerne Shave or Parmesan, which I eat like chips. It's so freaking good. Mmm. Anyway, well, that's gone. That's gone. Now, buttery steakhouse, Kinders. Just the smell. <clears throat> Choke. I'm choking on cheese. <coughs> I'm alive. I'm back. Anyway, oh, it's just the smell of it. It's so freaking good. However much you want. Don't go crazy. And then, sometimes I put just a little bit of milk in there. I don't have milk, so I'm just going to put water. Just to give the blender a little something to latch on to. You know what I'm saying? Because if you just blend in this stuff, it's going to turn into a mush. You may want to add... A little bit more here and there if you need to. Now, the blender kicks all the ass. And I think this is where I'm going to put you around my neck. Hang on. Here we go. Oh. All right. Can you see? This is kind of fun. Look at this. Making you dizzy yet? Start off slow. Got a lot of work to do, so. it in the end you don't want it too watery by any means you don't want it too watery be blended up a little too much but it'll work then you just pour this concoction that we just made on to looks like a dough doesn't it huh huh doesn't it just pour that onto a pizza tray with a little parchment paper on it spread it out Actually, this is the most I've ever had it blended, so I'm hoping it reforms. Otherwise, I'm going to look really stupid. I've made this a bunch of times. I've never blended it this much, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it'll be just fine. All right, get all the good stuff out of there. Make it as thick as you want to make it. The 
thicker it is, the more chickeny flavor you'll get out of it. The thinner it is, the easier it'll be to make it crispy. Okay. Look at that. And in this whole pizza crust right here, there is not maybe two carbs tops. Now, what do you do with this? You stick this son bitch in the oven. Whoa. And that is where I'm going to let you go for now. I will be back when that sits. Mm. Probably shouldn't eat that. It's got raw egg in it, but it's really good. It's cheesy chicken. Can't go wrong with cheesy chicken. Yeah, blended meat, man. Trust me. Trust me on this one. If you're on a carnivore diet and you crave pizza like I do, this is your gimmick right here. So let me let this cook for about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Hmm, it's good. And I'll bug you again. Bye.